you may get hungry after watching this video don't say i didn't warn you <laughs> so guys i'm going to show you where to get really good amala and look at this statue of abacha and so many other amazing meals guys <laughs> seriously you'll eat like a king over here Whew. okay guys let's go We just got here. So their parking is actually underground. There's really not so much space, guys. So if you want to eat, come early. So while Mr. Williams was parking the car, I was checking myself out to make sure I'm still maintaining beauty. <laughs> so this is the entrance at the lower ground. So we're going to go up the stairs. So anyways, I saw this beautiful display of an attraction they had there for the holiday. And obviously, I had to take some pictures. Do you guys love it? <laughs> anyways, after that, it's time to go eat. I'm sorry I kept Mr. Williams waiting because, we, guys, we haven't had anything to eat all day. So you know we're coming in here for war. We're here! Luckily, there weren't much crowds, so yay! So let's go into the schedule. So basically, these are the times they have their breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And for pricing, breakfast is 13,000, lunch is 16,500, and dinner is 20K. But for Sunday, it's actually a little bit more pricey because that's when they go really hard. So when we entered, it was quite nice of them to give us non-alcoholic wine or should I say champagne. <laughs> so we, we did our cheers and went straight to check out what they had for us to eat. And guys, we were not disappointed. So this is the healthy area, as I will call it, where they have their fruits, vegetables and everything to make your body feel so good. guys as crazy as it is i wasn't expecting sushi you don't know how happy i am oh my god these guys are ready and they also had puff puff i think it's my first time seeing puff puff on display okay apparently they had small chops so we're gonna go around and check out the other places but these are different kinds of bread cakes and donuts obviously you know i don't play with my desserts this is the dessert section from cakes 
to moose and so much more there were also many nigerian meals guys so many selections i'm like these guys don't play on sundays if you're really hungry come out on sundays and you won't regret it sunday lunchtime Check out this baby. Mm. So anyway, Mr. Williams already started serving himself. And guys, we went for the jumbo prawns with some calamari, chicken, bread, you name it. And I also went to look at the other things they had. And guys, they didn't disappoint. I can't believe they also had dumplings like <laughs> I don't really see dumplings at buffets though so this is really good so I quickly grabbed my plate because I'm like why am I darling and I went for the first thing that caught my eyes which were the beef which were the beef lasagna oof so cheesy <laughs> oh guys oh my god oh it can't even fully fall off the spoon like that's how good it is and i hope it tastes as good as it looks so after serving my plates we actually found a table and guess what this is the location we normally sit at every time <laughs> we come out to eat is the craziest thing this is what's always available for us it's a sign Okay guys, taking my wine first before I get down. So on my plate here is the beef lasagna and here are like the huge prawns. Oof, looks so good. And that's chicken over there and the calamari is hiding. Oh, there it is. Right there on the side of the lasagna. Guys, I'm actually so excited. So let's dig in. I can't lie, they didn't disappoint. This tastes so freaking good. So good. Everything tasted so good down to the calamari. I'm so happy we came here today. So guys, while we were eating, they actually brought us freshly squeezed orange juice. Like, you just put it on the table. <laughs> I was like, okay, we're going into food coma. <laughs> so he's almost done with his food while I'm here rounding up with my lasagna and my jumbo prawns. Whew. I really like this. So after our first round, we actually had to come here to get some sushi. How can I see sushi and I don't get it? Do you know how much sushi is here in Lagos? Like just for four rolls, you could pay up to four to eight thousand, depending on the flavor and what's cons what's inside the sushi, what it consists of. You know, so getting this in the buffet is bliss. And then we obviously moved to get some small chops. I saw that's actually French toast, guys. I'm actually excited to taste it because it looks so good. And we obviously picked out some samosas. Yes, I love samosas.
so we're going in with some puff puffs have you seen my plate guys let me show ya look at what i took i'm a good girl <laughs> oops so obviously i have to take my dessert took some chocolate mousse and then took a cheesecake so cute And then I dived into what I saw was a strawberry cake. Looked really good. Hope it tastes as good as it looks. So here I am drinking my orange juice because guys, I'm on a little diet here. But today's cheat day. So just drinking this juice to remind me and to make me a little bit happy. <laughs> I didn't even... I didn't even know when Mr. Williams went to sneak out some Amala. It looks so good, but guys, I haven't had Amala in over 15 years, if not more. That's how bad. I will taste it one day, but not today. And from what I could hear from him, it tastes really good. So I'm happy for him. So now it's my turn. I'm going into my food with my French toast, puff puffs, samosas, my sushi, and then finally my dessert. <laughs> Let's go, guys. So the little struggle I'm having here, so I normally eat my sushi with chopsticks and for the first time in a really, 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 really long time, I'm actually using a fork and it was not so fun, but regardless of that, it tasted so good. I was so happy, but I wish I had chopsticks. So here I am with my samosa. The samosas was okay. I mean, it was very breaded but the meat inside tasted quality they use quality meat really good so after that the puff puff normal was like normal puff puff so i'm going in now for the cupcake this is carrot cupcake guys i love carrot cake so it's time to taste it and see what's up it actually tasted good i was so happy I would have actually gone for more but I think my tummy was caving in. I mean after all I've eaten right? Why wouldn't it? So we shared the dessert because he couldn't get up to go get his own dessert and I felt like we've eaten so much. The chocolate mousse tasted so good, the strawberry cake it didn't taste as good as it looked but it was okay and the cheesecake wasn't bad. So we said let's go check out what they have any extra stuff so we saw this chocolate fountain so i think that's caramel on one side and that's chocolate so we said let's just play around and just taste it so we went in with one of the cookies there dip it in the chocolate so i actually said let me just go get one more extra meal just to round it up so i took one more dessert with some dumplings. I had to taste the dumplings, guys. How could I not take dumplings? Do you know how much this is outside? And then lamb chops. Do you know how much this is outside? <laughs> I'm actually getting everything for a really good price, okay? So the dumplings actually tasted as good as I expected. I'm a happy girl. I actually wish they could allow me to take some food home. So this is the damage we did. Honestly, I felt like a cow. But I had to remind myself that I'm beautiful. I'm a woman and I'm not a cow and I deserve good things in life once in a while <laughs> but does this have the formal approval oh yes it does so here are my observations first of all obviously I'm all about the ambience it has a very good and nice ambience and luckily there were not so much people there maybe because of the price so because today is a holiday everything rounded up to 30k per person I mean there was so much options okay so this is really good for people that eat a lot like 
like me okay and also there were so many food options from african to asian you name it inter uh, intercontinental like nobody was practically left out and each meal we tasted so far tasted so good guys like i felt so happy it was so worth it and also we got a free drink and free juice so if we wanted anything outside from the free water and the freshly squeezed juice would have to pay money for those and you can just walk in and eat but if you're actually going to be a group i would advise you to actually make reservations before you come so guys i hope you enjoyed this if you're a foodie please come here this is where you have to eat especially on a sunday that's the cheats guys sunday afternoon for lunch you won't regret it so many options oh my god yes so guys thank you for watching and to my foodies check out my other reviews and don't forget to subscribe share like and comment guys if you've been here what was your experience if you haven't would you come here after what you've seen and what was your favorite meal you saw on my plate <laughs> okay guys see you later so don't forget to subscribe share it's your girl